SBR videos are sponsored by Sports Cash System. Click on the link below for more information. Hi, welcome to SBR Forum Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. We are continuing our 2013 uh, baseball playoffs coverage right now with uh, Troy West from AllPlaysWin.com. We're going to discuss the uh, Pitt St. Louis series, and uh, so far, one game is uh, is in. The Pittsburgh Wild Card game is already in. Uh, Troy West did pick that, and he picked the correct side. A winner is that a shock to me? Not not particularly. Troy West, thanks for being back with us. Hey, thanks a lot, Pete. You know, great time of year as we've mentioned. October is here. Fall is in the air. Hockey is even here. I'll be yes. the first to say, Pete, I'm not much of a hockey better myself, uh, but we are proud to announce at allplayswin.com. We have partnered with uh, NHLExpertPicks.com. I've done my research with these guys, one of the best hockey services out there. They'll be uh, listed on allplayswin.com, so I encourage people to come take a look at that. And I'm excited to speak on this series as well, Pete. All right, that sounds great. No, hockey has always been, uh, you know, a, a sport that uh, Sharps have always gravitated to where you can definitely uh, find some edges uh, day in and day out. All right, Pitt at St. Louis. This is a series here now. The, uh, the lines still are not out at Pinnacle and various other places, but Heritage does have a line. St. Louis minus 145, Pitt on the other side plus 125. Now, when all the books come out with the lines, you'll probably be able to get, you know, a market-wide much lower juice uh, on this line set, but we're going to discuss what's at Heritage right now, plus 125 for Pitt, St. Louis minus 145. And, you know, I'm looking at this. Obviously, the line looks pretty sharp. I, you know, St. Louis has a Pitt has a good starting rotation. St. Louis, to my eye, looks to have a little bit better starting rotation. You know, Michael Watcha, that guy can deal. Pitt has, you know, a decent lineup, some holes in it. St. Louis, to me, looks like they have a little bit better lineup, maybe somewhat smaller holes. So um, I would lean towards St. Louis here. Do they have value at minus 145? I'm not sure, but if I had to make a bet, that's the way I'd go. What do you think, Troy? Yeah, this is a really tough series. These teams have played each other 19 times. Pittsburgh actually gets the edge, uh, taking 10 of the 19. And you got to remember, Pittsburgh's just now really gelling with guys yeah. like Marlon Bird and Justin Morneau. You know, and, and these guys are now just starting to gel in this lineup, in my opinion. Pittsburgh is playing very good baseball. I think the disadvantage Pittsburgh has, as you saw, Francisco Liriano gives seven innings. He's going to be pushed back to the rotation, which gives them a little bit of disadvantage. I am going to roll with Pittsburgh, though. Really? I just think this team, you know, we've heard it all day long. People are talking this is a team of destiny. I'm one of the believers. One other thing that people forget is how good A.J. Burnett was in the playoffs mm -hmm. back when he was with the New York Yankees. The guy pitched phenomenal. So I really like that he's opening up. I think game one is going to be a big tell where this series goes. But I think A.J. Burnett matches well with Adam Wainwright. And I think as you go deeper and deeper into game two, three, and four, I think guys like Garrett Cole, Locke, I think they match up with the Shelby Millers of, of the St. Louis Cardinals, the Joe Kellys of the St. Louis Cardinals. I think it's a great series. I just really think Pittsburgh's home field advantage is going to take a huge role in it. And I just think the Destin and, and the Clint Hurdle ball club of Pittsburgh is playing too good to go against right now, Pete. I hear you. You know, I'm definitely not going against you. I just want to uh, air my thoughts, air my concerns for a bet on Pittsburgh, right? All right, yeah. You know, Cole Burnett, Morton. Those are three decent starters, but look, you know, would you rather have Cole Burnett Morton or would you rather have Wainwright Miller and hopefully Watcha? I think I would have rather have St. Louis the starters there. And then, you know, Pitt, you know, Justin Morneau batting cleanup. He hasn't really been that good this year. Pedro Alvarez struggling since the all-star break. And yeah, they got Bird, McCutcheon, Russell Martin. I mean, those, you know, Pitt's a good team, a very good team. But uh, it just would make me a little bit nervous to go against St. Louis with those quality pitchers and with a lineup that, you know, is stacked with decent hitters. Yeah, you, you bring up great points, and you also got to remember the St. Louis team has been in the playoffs several times, so that also brings in a little bit of a factor. And, and yeah, I do think their rotation is very, very strong. It just seems to me right now that this Pittsburgh team is a team of destiny. They've been kind of on a roller coaster all season, but they're peaking, I believe, at the right time. They've got this momentum going at the right time where St. Louis kind of got in somewhat on cruise control. You know, they're probably more in a relaxed mode, but... I think even after the emotional win that Pittsburgh got last night, I think they're going to carry it into this playoff team. I really do. They're a veteran team, veteran manager. I just think the emotions are riding high for Pittsburgh. They're going to run it right through this series, Pete. All right. Troy West from allplayswin.com, leaning pit at one, plus 125 in this series. And when all the books come out with their lines, you can uh, oh, you'll almost certainly be able to get a significantly better line than plus 125. This is just we're going by uh, what Heritage is offering right now on a Wednesday afternoon. Thanks so much, Troy. We'll talk to you again very soon.